guys, what's going on? Free Tech Guy. This is going to be another five minute tutorial. Uh, today it's going to be on the Pirate Bay, how to set it up and how to use it. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your browser and go to Google. And uh, we're going to search uTorrent, U T O R R E N T. And it's the very top search. Uh, click on Get uTorrent and Free Download and you can save the file. I've already done that. You can exit that out. Go back to Google and type in PeerBlock, P-E-E-R-B-L-O-C-K. And it's the top search again. Okay, uh, watch what I do here because uh, they kind of made it hard to follow. So first thing is you're going to go to Get It Now um, Downloads and then you're going to download the last, the latest stable release, PeerBlock 1.1. Now scroll down about halfway and click Pure Block 1.1 Installer. And then save the file, of course. Um, okay, so now that we're done with that, you can close out your browser and go to your downloads, wherever that goes to. And you're going to want to set up Pure Block and set up uTorrent. Both of them take less than a minute, so it's really fast. Okay, so once you've set those up and they're installed, go in here to Pure Block. And mine's already running, so it's going to just come up with all the stuff it's blocking. But yours will come up, and it'll say updating, right where mine says peer block. Yours will say updating. And um, after about five seconds, it'll just close out by itself. So it's super easy. You just click on peer block, let it run for 10 seconds, and then it closes out by itself. That's all you have to do for peer block. For uTorrent, you don't have to do anything. So now we're going to go to the Pirate Bay. So open up your browser and go to thepiratebay.se. And uh, we're going to get some Kid Cudi songs. Actually, I'm only downloading this one because I already paid for the album. I bought it on iTunes. But anyway, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over to SE and you're going to click it and that'll sort it by the number of seeders. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's how many people are downloading it currently. I just know the more seeders it has at the time, uh, the faster it is to download. So once you find the one you want, uh, I'm gonna do Man on the Moon. I already paid for it, so it's totally cool, guys. I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna, excuse me, I'm going to look at the reviews. Download it very quick, thanks. Um, la, 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 la. Thanks, great album. Thanks, nice theaters, blah, blah, blah. You know, good stuff. Alright, once you see that's good stuff, uh, 21 files, click on this little magnet sign, get this torrent. Just click on that link, and it'll open up uTorrent by itself. And um, right click on the file and go down to advanced set download location and uh, set it to wherever you want I'm gonna save it to man on the moon too and then uh, I might need to speed it up because uh, it'll probably take a couple minutes so Alright, now that your download has stopped, you're going to want to right click on here, and I go to stop. I don't seed it, uh, I'm not comfortable with people like downloading off of my computer, that's basically what seeding is. Um, so I right click and click stop. Now I go to where, I just minus it, don't exit it out. Um, I go to where I saved it which is in music, um, man on the moon. And so you can see all these tracks. Uh, so it looks good. Anyway, so that's how, that's how you download something on, uh,
Pirate Bay, then you can go back to uTorrent and I right click, go down to remove and data. Don't click don't click torrent or torrent and data um, because then it deletes everything you just downloaded. If you delete data, uh, I don't know what it does, but it just I don't know. That's just what I learned how to do, and it uh, works good for me. So now there's nothing in your queue, and you can just exit out of uTorrent and uh, enjoy your music or whatever you downloaded. Don't be downloading stuff too much. Whatever provider you have, they can see if you download quite a bit. They can tell that something's up, and they will warn you about it. So if you ever get a warning, I would definitely stop because you can get in trouble. Just remember this is for educational purposes only. Don't do anything that will get you in trouble or yeah just don't be stupid I guess thanks for watching my tutorial uh, if you guys would please subscribe to my videos it would mean so much to me I put out five videos a week thank you guys have a good one